Alright guys, what is up? I'm Tim coming with another binder update for March of 2015. Um, and I got some more stuff for you now because I normally have these two binders and then I started doing the dollar binder either last month or the month before that. And now I have a fake binder because I get asked a lot since I have so many fake cards. People want to do fake trades with me where they trade fake cards for fake cards. Very self-explanatory. Uh, so I threw together a fake binder just for walls and just to kind of have a more organized uh version of my fake collection, because remember I was just keeping them stuck in a mega tin, that was about it. Uh, but yeah, let's go ahead and get into the binders. Uh, but first, I have a couple of rules. Uh, first rule is that if you come to me, you send first. Uh, second rule is actually something really helpful. Just let me grab an example. Uh, first rule is if you trade with me, I asked that you get a piece of like notebook paper or something and write down what cards you're sending and then what cards I'm supposed to be sending and then write your username next to the cards that you're sending uh, just so it's easier for me to keep up with who and what I'm trading um, who I'm trading with and just so it's a lot easier to keep up with their things than me having to go through my PMs over and over again it's just really a big hassle um, but yeah this is just for some stuff I'm sending to Ghost Street Duelist it's actually just an example uh, so yeah just go ahead and do that wrap up the stuff in a top loader and one of these just so it's easier to keep up with. And second is if uh, you buy something from my dollar binder or any of my binders, uh, send the money in a top loader taped up in one of these bubble mailers. They're really cheap for big packs at like Walmart or any retail store that sells uh, office supplies. Uh, just so it's a lot easier to keep up with this because the mail does get passed through a lot of different places whenever it's being sent. So there is the possibility of it being stolen because I've had money stolen in the mail before. Uh, so if it's in one of these bubble mailers, it's a lot easier to keep sealed and keep protected. Because if it's in a regular envelope and it's money, then they're more likely to kind of peek through it and then take your money, which is always very disappointing. So if you send money, send it in a bubble mailer, just so it's a lot safer. Uh, yeah, and then we'll want those to be in the description down below. So let us go ahead and get into it with the first binder. Uh, let me find something to prop it up maybe a little bit higher. Stacking up on a whole bunch of tins. Uh, yeah. Uh, apologize for the glare. Let's see if I can get a light really quick on this. Okay. Uh, that kind of fixes the glare. Um, but yeah. Just go and show it. Uh, the two cards that are upside down, these are both uh, Sentry L3 of Sentries, and so is this one. Um, but basically, actually, uh, if you see anything upside down, that means it is for trade. Um, but uh, the upside down stuff is, peop is stuff that people's actually wanted. Um, but it messed me about and I'm waiting on replies on that. So yeah, there's some pendulums. Uh, it's a ghost, Bujin Matarasu, got a masked hero, Diane. Uh, a couple cyber bladers. Somebody wants to build that weird cyber blader lockdown deck that uh, Asian Eyes did the other day. And some more Xyz monsters. Probably show it this way. Uh, but yeah, it's all organized by ready. Like, first is regular. And then it's going to be ulti, secret, ultra, and then supers. And then maybe weird rarities in as well. Yeah, it's ultis, Fujin, Pagasuchi. Uh, some more stuff. The Draco sack, um, I'm only looking to sell. I'm not really looking to trade that unless I get a good offer. And it's first edition from the Mega Pack. And then some more synchros. I got two of these Memphis Horrors, both first dead. Uh, some cool Norse guides, more random ultis. Uh, it's a five legendary question 5D secret uh, librarian. Uh, it's first dead raging battle trident dragon. Pretty good condition too. And then these two cards are just kind of stuck in there just because I couldn't find a place to fit them. But dragoonity stuff since they got dragon ravine back. And then that's a Kaius from the structure deck. And some of these free tokens. A couple people have asked me about those. Uh, but I keep getting these from trades and buying stuff in the mail. Uh, the Gores is from Dark Legend 1, I think it is. Uh, the Curry Bandit, again, preferably so. Uh, it's an Ultra Gale from Legendary Collection 5Ds. If everyone wants to hollow out their Blackwing deck, it looks really nice. Uh, then I have two Super Shuros from Raging Battle. Uh, this Firefish Bear from the Tin, because uh, of all the Fire Fist hype, everybody's wanting to rebuild Fire Fist, and they're still a really good deck. 
I'm into Mobius. This one's a common from Structure Deck 4, and this one's from Battle Pack 1. It's rare. And some super heavy samurai stuff. Uh, it's a Battle Pack 1 obelisk volcanic shelf, and it wants to build volcanics. Some battery men. A couple of infernoids. I'm actually thinking about building infernoids. Uh, just because they seem like a really cool deck. And some more spells. Um, the rank up magic, the seventh one, it's actually got a crease on it. I'm trying to find it. Yeah, it's got a crease. Uh, you can kind of see it on the back right there. And for some reason, it's got a little bit of sticky stuff on that. That's just how I picked it up. Um, but if anybody's wondering about that, and it's uh, unlimited. And there's Ultra Instant Fusion. If anybody wants those for Noden whenever he comes out, uh, two refusions. It's an Astro Pack. Charge of the Light Brigade. Uh, two Dark World Dealings. Joey's World both first dead. It's more instant fusion, so there's a place right there if anyone wants to buy that. And on to the trap. Starlight Road's actually just turning in. Everybody's kind of hyping up that card because it's still really good. Since Dark Hole's at 2 and Red Decky's at 3, and there's a lot of mass destruction. Of course, you can just flip that, protect your stuff, and then bring us Stardust, which is always pretty good. Uh, two Needlebug Nest. Two First Dead Rear Karma Cuts. And some more traps. None of the Insector stuff I'm keeping because I'm actually wanting to build Insectors just because they're really awesome. And then Fake God cards because you guys know I collect fake stuff. I'm uh, mainly looking to get God cards. Exodia ones are just really outlandish weird cards. And some tokens. And then just some random stuff I threw in the back of Gyoku, Santa Claus, and Messenger of Peace. So yeah, there's that binder. Set that off to the side somewhere. And now onto the collection miner. Most of the stuff's just like random collection and sets I have. So uh, yeah. Uh, the misprints I'm keeping. I know a couple people asked me if my test card or my retro pack to No Name Blue Eyes were portrayed, and they're not. Uh, so yeah. I wonder why this one's a misprint because the I have Anubis sticker is off center and it's an uneven border. You can see it right there. Um, that's one that actually spelled Necros, N-E-C-R-O-Z, and one of the, and part of the effect for Dance Princess. So if you have one of those, it's technically a misprint. Uh, looking for, again, more McDonald's stuff, and I got a Goss of Wim from, the, from somebody the other day, so. If you have any McDonald's cards, I'm looking to finish those sets. Uh, again, yeah, more stuff, I do have a friend with a Meteor Dragon, and he's going to trade me for the McDonald's set, so I'm still looking to finish those. Uh, these are just some really cool nostalgic cards. I had Galaxy Eyes because it was my first like money card, and then after that, my, super, my like most expensive card when I got back into Yu-Gi-Oh was Black Rose because I got a booster box at Walmart and pulled multi of it. Uh, see, I got this out of a, a Wolzard Ultra, so it's really a nostalgic card for me. And then D Boys just because it's the most gangster card in all the game of Yu-Gi-Oh. Uh, but yeah, none of this stuff's for trade. Uh, some Gaga Gigo cards. I'm only collecting the monsters. A couple people had offered me. Uh, traps of Gaga Gigo in the artwork. I'm not really interested in those. I'm just, I just had these monsters because I thought it was cool. Uh, some structure deck cover cards. Uh, Signer Dragons have the full set in common. I'm looking for ultis of Stardust, Blackwing, Power Tool, and Last Stream. Sorry, I have Black Rose, Red Dragon, Archfiend, and Fairy Dragon. Uh, and some more really cool ultis. Uh, God Card Page. I'm looking for Jump Slifer. Uh, it's an Invasion of Chaos, Chaos Number Dragon. I actually pulled that out of a pack. If you guys want to check that video out. Still looking for the Jump Dreader. I actually had somebody wall back, but then they kind of fell through. Um, I do have two secret um, Sacred Beasts coming in the mill. But our mill's been like really slow lately for some reason. They've been doing weird, like some weird stuff where they send the mill like twice a day. Uh, and I'm looking for an Ultra First uh, Uriah. And these are GBI God cards, but again, keeping those. Uh, this Exodia set's for sale, valued at thirty dollars. Uh, the gold set, valued at forty. It's more premium than gold stuff. Uh, the Dark Matter Dragon, I might keep that, I might not, I don't know. Uh, just some generic trade bait stuff. And then all the, I call them poopy pulls, because they're cards that aren't really like particularly of value, but people may try and tack them in some weird decks, like rekindling. People might put that in Fire Fist. Uh, these guys for zombies, and then just solvents and staples and plants. And then just some random old hollows, really. 
Uh, this is my bandless page. I have pieces of notebook paper put in here with the car names of cards I'm missing. Uh, I'm missing a Cyberstein, um, Substitute, and I have updated it with the Dragon Rules and some other stuff I picked up. Uh, and then missing a Substitute, Victory Dragon, finally got my Trish Uh Wind Up Carry Zen Mighty, Delinquent Duo, Dimension Fusion, and all the stuff will be in my once list. If you're watching with headphones on, you're just kind of looking at stuff. Uh, I found a roll of oppression, actually pulled a six cents. And these are the cards that went back to one the babies, uh, playset of Sinister Serpent. Uh, yeah, one's common, one's mosaic, and then the secret rare one uh, is from like a game, like a Game Boy promo or something. I'm mean, gonna keep the secret, but I do have an extra mosaic or somewhere. Let me put these back. And then the crush card virus, I think it's from Turbo Pack 1, it's a rare. And then original uh, art Rima Destruction from Invasion of Cast Special Edition, but as you can see, it's heavily played, so. If anybody wants that stuff, and then the Merrick Structure Deck Temple of Kings have two of those. And these are just some really cool cards I thought were pretty neat. Uh, Ghost Stardust, like all this stuff in keeping. Uh, the blue eyes almost sold, but it's valued at 10 bucks, so I figured I might as well keep it. That's an ulti. Pharaoh Servant, and this one's actually a misprint. Uh, I'll show you guys really quick. Uh, I don't know if you can tell that it's a misprint, but this is just a typical secret rare, thought ruler. And then Jinzo, if you can see it, the secret rare is actually going backwards and it's going this way instead of going that way. So, kind of neat. And I actually didn't pick it up because it was a misprint, I just picked it up because it was Pharaoh Servant and Jinzo, and it's sexy. Uh, some more old hollows, the uh, structure deck, uh, the original starter deck cards, the original cards that everybody wanted. Uh, Burning Skull set, Magnet Warrior set, random Duel Masters cards, and Ultra Rat Mystic Tomato. Uh, more random old school hollows, like uh, Magic Ruler Megamorph, Magic Ruler Axe of Despair, Jarrell's Old Harpy's Pet Dragon, Frontic Guardian Lava Golem, uh, Spell Ruler, Blue Eyes Tune, and then a Metal Raiders. Thousand Dragon, Point Sea Darkness, Fiend Skull Dragon, Metal Raiders, Garnetia, and then Duels Pack Yugi, Summon Skull. If anybody's particular about the set, uh, the Dark Synchros, they came out in the first season of 5Ds, and then they got reprinted in like a Duels Pack collector's set as actual cards, which is kind of cool. Uh, then the Legendary Collection 1 stuff, some more hollows. I have two Red Eyes Darkness Metal Dragons, I think they're both first dead. Let me check. Yep, they're both first. Uh, that's a Legend of Blue Eyes Gaia, of course the Tin Heliopolis, but he still looks cool. And then some random movie cards. So that is the collection binder. Now I'm going to make this one kind of quick, just a dollar binder, but everything in here is a dollar, minimum order of five bucks. Um, so yeah. And I'll just kind of go through it. Uh, but first off is the shark deck I have. Um, it's just missing a few, like, just a few staples, but it's a really fun deck to play. And you can splash in some extra rank 3s and rank 5s if you want. Uh, like, Volcasaurus would be really cheap. Gaia Dragon, you may have to put a little bit of cash out, but it's a really cool budget deck and just really fun to play. And then, of course, you're going to need Instant Fusion, so if you buy this deck for 20 bucks, um, I might throw in the two Instant Fusions. I'll have to think of a price. Um, but this deck's really cool. I just make rank 5s, and it's kind of cool to see all these weird shark cards actually work together. Uh, this is a first dip, Mortar of Chaos, and these are from the Cosmic Blazer Special Edition. Uh, this tanky is from the Fire Fist Special Edition, these two are from Secret Forces. That's uh, super fine wrath, but I will send the entire deck right here for $20, and it's just really, really fun. And plus, nobody expects it, and it's a weird deck to go up against. Uh, within these hollows, they're all just really cheap hollows I thought were cool. Uh, if anybody wants those, I might think of a price for these, maybe $2. Uh, the Knight's Title, Graceful Dice, and these three Magna Wars, I will throw in for free if you order some stuff. And here. Uh, this is a Shatterfall from Battle Pack 3, and that's a gold. Uh, but yeah, just, again, everything in here is a dollar. It's really cheap deck filler stuff, if anybody wants that. Or if you just like it on the nostalgic card you want. Uh, there's an OCG, uh, Spirit of the Heart, but she's got a speech right there. And 
There's a bunch of Firefist stuff in here if you want to build Firefist. Basically, the half the main deck. Minus the staples and all the hollow stuff. To hurry this up, my camera's running out of battery. And there's some cheap blackwing stuff in there to make blackwings. They're really fun, especially with the new support. I want some old zombie stuff to build like an old school zombie control deck. And some dark scorpions. Charmers, and then on the spells. Common charge to light brigade. Now the back at two. Uh, gift cards like three bucks. That's kind of a steal right there. If anyone wants that to make like a weird gift card, uh, hope for escape Exodia deck. It's the build of people you typically go for. It's the most consistent. There's some more old school hollows and rares. These I might value a little bit higher just because they're old. And yep, that is it for the dollar binder. So now, last thing, the last order of business is the newly added fake binder. Uh, yeah, just all fake cards. If anybody wants to do fake trades, I have this. These are all like the weird Chinese cards. And weird GBI God cards that this card cannot be used to go in English. And some synchros. It's a misprint lightning fighter. You can see the names off center. And these two cards I like using in fake decks just because they had ridiculous attack and defense. And for some reason I made a Mr. Volcano a level 12 with 45 attack and 38 defense, which is crazy. But all the stuff right here up at the front I actually used in a fake deck just for fun. And of course Spider-Man, the weirdest fake card ever. I actually might keep him just because of the fact that it's a very weird and random fake card. Some god cards, the more generic stuff. Wing Dragon Raw got a bunch of these. Just the generic, goofy Wing Dragon that everybody has. And then Dragon Up GD, I got a bunch of those too. And then these are just like the really weird ones. They're all like from uh, Ancient Sanctuary. And they're all like the wrong colors. Like it'll be a trap card card like a normal monster, a magic card card like a normal monster, and so on and so forth. And some have like really high levels. For no reason. And some fake gravekeeper stuff which is kind of cool. And some of these the weird fake fools peeling on you can kind of see right there where it's peeling off. I mean, these are more like the half decent ones. They're just lightly faded. And you know, they don't have. I have Anubis in the corner. But they're still really close. At least to uh, the original cards that they're based off of. Now, for some reason, the rares, the letters are gold like an Ultra, which is weird.
And there might be duplicates in here, I just wasn't too worried about it because I was just trying to get all the fake cards in one binder. Just so it wasn't like taking up space sitting in a mega tin. And getting down to it. For some reason, uh, one of the Blade Knights I have right here, known as Knife Fighter, I got a wall back and I had somebody's name written on it. And last page. Uh, so yeah, that's it for the fake line. I'm not even trying to close that because it's just ridiculous. Um, but yeah, that's it. One sell in the description down below along with rules and trading rules and stuff. Uh, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this and I'll catch you guys later.